Hello guys, Edgar with Chromespot.com here and today we're going to check out this really cool app that I actually use all the time too and it's called Gmail Offline. It does pretty much what the name entails. It lets you use Gmail and check your email and send emails and do move folders, anything you want or most things that you can do online, you'll be able to do them with this little guy. So let's say you're on a plane, you're on a train, you're on the road, you're just offline, right? You don't have internet. You can actually jump into this with your Chromebook, with your Mac, with your PC, Windows, anything. And as long as you're using Chrome, of course, you'll be able to just send emails, you know, reply to things, anything you want. So you can pretty much work while you're offline. And we are here and I'll, I'll provide a link to the description to uh, I'll provide a link in the description so you can download it on your Chrome browser but it's this little guy right here it will appear right here and I can move it around it's actually pretty important so I'll leave it up here uh, no, next to the Gmail there you go um, and I have it open right here I have it on the unread folder here because I don't want to show all my emails while I'm here uh, or to the world I guess but you can go ahead and go to everything inbox important start and all of your labels and folders <clears throat> let us keep it on red and the settings here it's not much you can have an, a vacation responder so if you're away you know first day it ends subject message and you can set it to only send to your people in your contacts and after that you're pretty much set and right here you can check you can set it so you can have your other emails you know if you're logged into multiple email accounts on your Chrome browser you'll be able to use them through here and sign into new ones and etc so we're gonna test it out just so you guys can see what it can do I can actually send it I'll send it to myself here Edgar uh, Android, sure. test um, I am online and then I'll send it and I'll get it right away right there you go I got it so I have this email now so now sorry about that that's my phone I got the email now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump offline and show you how we can work here so I'm here and I'm online I'm offline, right? I'm in the plane or something, and I say, um, hey, I am not online anymore, but I will be when you get this email. Call me right away when you do. Okay, so I'll send this guy. And right here it says offline. Last checked just now. Uh, outbox one and whatever you know. So I let's say something happens and I can't make the call. You know what? Never mind. first okay so we'll send another one right and right now we have sending it's not going to be able to send it because of course I am offline so it's not going to do anything and I'm just offline and I have two in the outbox now so it's like that and right now if we go online it'll send them and I should get them Right here, they'll, they'll appear in the time. Let's just give it a minute. Or you can go to unread. Whenever you do something, it just refreshes. So there, sent. I should get them anytime. And it's loading. So I got it. I got them on my phone. So now I have them here. It's just gonna, why is this thing taking so long? It usually doesn't oh 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 there you go okay so I refreshed 
and uh, here are the messages. You know what? Never mind. Okay. So I check this out, right? And what we can do. The, the only sad thing about this, or part that I don't like necessarily, is that it only works when you open this app. Uh, or it seems to. Sometimes it just sends it by itself. I don't exactly understand how it works. But what it does is just it saves the information of the things you want to do on your computer and whenever it's online it does it it just you know that you know it syncs with this little button so right now we'll jump offline again and we'll say this is a test and we'll send it and now we'll close it and we'll go back online and pretty much nothing is really going to happen or it actually did let's see on my phone I got it this is a test but that doesn't always work it just works sometimes to be sure what I would do is I would go into here and I would press a little refresh button again or actually when you just jump in it act you know it syncs itself when you do anything in there so yeah that's pretty much it. That's Gmail offline. And uh, I hope you guys like it. It has its defects. Like right now it worked perfectly for some reason. Which is kind of lucky because usually doesn't stuff doesn't work on demos. Or, you know, doesn't want to work. But sometimes it won't do it. Just to make sure whenever you come back, you know, when you land and when you have internet. Make sure you go to Gmail offline and sync it. And make sure however many emails and changes you did happen before you do anything else so yeah it, it's helped me a lot uh, I travel for work I go to events and conventions and stuff and it's it's done a great job especially if you have a Chromebook um, many of you don't have internet on your Chromebook at all times or you don't have data so it's actually really cool to be able to do this with without an internet connection while you're out there using your Chromebook. But yeah, uh, check it out, Gmail Offline. I'll leave a link in the description and hope you guys like it. Um, thank you for watching. This is Edgar with Chromespot.com and have a great day.